Hey everyone, Destron Decepticon 23 here today with another Transformers animated review, this time of Transformers animated Starscream. And as you can see, uh, Starscream is a jet, but not any kind of normal jet. He's apparently a Harrier jet, as as he says that in the show. Sorry, you must have me confused with some other Harrier jet. And I think he's also loosely based off another kind of jet, but I'm not quite sure. And it was also kind of a neat pick uh, to put him in this kind of jet mode because, like the name Starscream says, um, the jet is kind of formed like a, a star. Hang on. See, it's kind of shaped like a star. Some of the features of this mode is, um, of course, his uh, null ray cannons, which can push out like thrusters or and come to the front and kind of act like shooting beams or whatever. I'm not a big fan of missiles because they're so easy to get lost and I really wish they wouldn't make missiles for figures but oh well. Just take those out. And uh, the figure does have some nice landing gear. It folds into him very nice. Um, right here and right here so I'll just tuck that away compared to movie Starscream his kibble isn't too bad like um, the most you can really see is his hands right here and technically this is his feet but I'm not sure if you can count that as kibble it's really nice but one thing about this figure it's not show accurate to the colors at least it looks more like movie Thundercracker than anything. Um, I wish they would have painted it like a normal, uh, like the Starscream in the show, but I guess since this is the only Starscream figure we're getting, I can't really complain. The rating I'm going to give this mode, I'll give it a 7 because it's a nice jet mode, but it's just, it's not colored right. But anyways, onto the transformation. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold these flaps. Then pull out his legs by pulling the thrusters apart. And that'll become his feet. Uh, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna slightly pull his feet out. Like that. And then you're going to pull his feet out and, well, his whole, uh, like assembly down and while you're doing that his nose cone will retract while you're doing that his automorph will kick in as well his hands will move and to the top of the the wings will move and he is pretty much transformed uh, he's probably the easiest animated figure to transform you know like considering he's not an activator um, and then you're going to fold his legs down, pull his arms down, and then clip the back of his wing assembly into on the bottom of his landing gear. Like that. And then you're going to pull these out, which I don't know why, because this isn't in the show. Push that out. You have to reclip it. And here is Starscream in robot mode. It's nice, but it really does. I th I don't think it it captures the essence of animated Starscream. His head, I think, should be a bit bigger. And one thing I've really hated about Starscream, I've bought three Starscreams and returned uh, two of them just to get a proper head mold and I still can't get one. They all, all seem to have uh, blotches somewhere like you can see the ones right below his uh, lip. Here's the other Starscream head I've had and you can see he has a blotch next to his nose and I'm really angry about this because I really want my Starscream to look well because he is such an iconic character. Um, but 
another thing I wish they would have done to capture the essence of, you know, animated Starscream uh, would be to have his wings more in a V-shape and not have this come up, up over his head. Um, that would have helped a lot. And, of course, the color. But um, one nice thing about the mold is that um, he has really neat hands. They're like claws in a way. And, of course, you can position uh, the cannons any way you want. You can do it like that. Or if you hold them back here and you push, it reveals these little null rig cannons on the side of his arms. But, um, I guess on to the character of Starscream. Um, this Starscream has probably been the most successful Starscream in trying to get rid of Megatron. Um... In the very first episode, he pretty much offed him for a whole season by plant, planting a bomb on him and reducing Megatron to only a head. Well, I guess he didn't really do that, but it was, you know, it was kind of initially caused by the bomb. But, um, he, at one point, he even takes lead of the Decepticons in Megatron Rising Part 1. Uh, he takes control of Lugnut in Blitzwing. And, of course, uh, in Megatron Part two, uh, Megatron Rising Part 2, um, early on in the series, Megatron realized that um, Starscream planted that bomb on him. So when he finally gets his body back, he takes Sari's key and just punches him, and th this puts Starscream offline. Um, he's later on seen in Mission Accomplished, where he wakes up and he thinks that he went offline and we soon discover that his spark chamber is empty yet he's still living because he actually has a, he had a, an allspark fragment embedded in his forehead very reminiscent of stuff that happens in Inuyasha but anyways um, so that's there this is how they're presenting uh, the immoral Starscream and animated what's the matter you look like you've seen a ghost. Um, and then later on, um, he goes on to build clones of himself after, well, first he's captured by the elite guard, but then he escapes. And then later on, he builds clones of himself to create this whole clone army, which um, he creates um, character-wise. Um, Skywarp, Thundercracker, Ramjet, Sunstorm, and... The female Starscream, which I'm going to dub Moon Racer, just because it's close to, it's kind of like Starscream in a way, Moon Star, get it? Um, it seems for the new Seekers that will be coming out, they're they're a direct repaint of Starscream, but I really hope um, for the female Seeker that they remold her, but because that would be really bad if they kept the Starscream mold for her. But overall, I I really enjoy the figure. Like I don't. Even though I have a few gripes about it, I, I overall still enjoy every one I buy. Um, I'll give his robot mode a 7 as well because it's it's nice on its own. Like, as a toy, it's really nice. But it, if you're trying to compare it to the animated show character, it's kind of deviated. One last thing before I go. Uh, they did a really nice little cockpit thing here. Um, you can see on the inside detail. There's a seat and an engine. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe you can. I'm not sure. But anyways, this is Destron Decepticon signing out, and I'll see you later. Ah, if it isn't my old pal Megatron. And by old pal, I mean the piece of scum who tried to incinerate me into oblivion. Starscream, you're alive. What's the matter? You look like you've seen a ghost. Well, maybe you have. Is that the best you could do, Starscream? And to think you actually believed you could take over as leader of the Decepticons. You couldn't lead a parade.